But I'm I'm your boy Weeston. Uh, actually, let's go back to mobs. And this other fool is your boy uh, Parzy. Yellow. Why? What is? This? Okay. Oh, I remember. This. <laughs> I had oh, built you're, you're I had built a room. smaller one of those, <laughs> and it had like a little oh my god intro thing. Why? That is the worst entrance. Oh, but you just needed. Was that the one you recorded the one video in? The first one. No. Because it looked really small. I think it was that one. No, I swear it wasn't this oh. one. But this is what we're going to put, like, things that we want to take screenshots of because paint out that's better at chroma keying than Premiere, apparently. <laughs> True. Who knows why? Um, so the whole purpose of this video is kind of like a dual thing with the other video we're going to put out that's about uh, the lightsabers. It's like a little teaser for uh, the new lightsaber system. And with this one, we kind of actually just wanted to go through and show you how to actually make a lightsaber. Well, you know, not every single step, because obviously we don't want to take that amount of time, and that would take like eight hours. <laughs> but yeah. uh, we'll pretty much just go through and show you everything. So where should we start? Well, the saber wall. Yeah. A lot of the sabers. Not all of them. Um, start by pulling out all the ores. All the ores? Yeah, let's put down all the ores so people can see what they look like and everything. Alright. Uh, that's kind of crystal. That's the crystals. Down there, down there. And these. Yeah, I know. Cortansis. Such a uh, stupid name. That should be all of them, right? Oh, Diadium and Thorlite. Alright, oh, you took, uh, you took two Cortansis. Got it. There we go. Okay, let's make a little ore, ore wall. So George, I think George Orwell. There are ten ores now with uh, one point three. Um, here, let's go through. Perfect. What are the names of everything? Uh, Wait, is that ten? That's exactly ten. Are you sure? Double check that. The same amount as we have crystals. Okay, one, yeah. Two, All right. Three, so four, go up five, to them so we can six, see their names. Eight, yeah, ten. What do we got? Okay, uh, we got chromium. Chromium. Next, titanium, axonium, calarium, cortosis, ionite, helicite, rubendum. Um, that's diadium. Diadium. And that's should be thorolite. Um, rubendum and cortosis are not used in lightsabers, if I remember correctly. That's. Because Cortosis is lightsaber resistant, and we're going to use it for other stuff. Yeah. But the other ones all have, um, they all spawn on different planets. Like, for instance, pull up that picture that we have so we can um, find that. Yeah, we can use it for reference. Don't know what I do with that. Ayo. Don't know what I do with that. Okay, so all the, all the ores, <clears throat> the ores that are needed are going to be your Exonium, Calarium, Diadium, Thorlide, Titanium and Chromium, and yeah, that's it. And then obviously other stuff like Quartz and Redstone and um, Gold and that kind of stuff. And we're also introducing a new thing called um, power, power Packs or Power Cells? Power Pack. Power Packs that are uh, used for blaster shots because it's not going to be infinite like before. Um, and those are going to be used in a couple recipes. But basically there are... Ten needed things in order to craft a lightsaber. Pull out those items if you would. It starts... Yeah, they don't have textures, so... <coughs> not, not yet. So bear with us on that. Yeah. <laughs> Boxy Crystal does. Oh, yay. Yeah, not that. Let's get a couple of crystals. Oh, load one. There we go. Oh, yay! Forgot okay. about that. Wait, what crystal do you have? Oh, you have the purple. Have that's purple. Per that's perfect. Oh, okay, so let's go through. What do we have starting at the top? Uh, this is a cycling fueled emitter. No, Ener a cycling fueled <laughs> energizer. Uh, there is a inert power insulator. An apex seal, which is used exclusively for lightsabers that you want to be waterproof, which is not cut off in yeah, water. Yeah, because if you don't use the apex seal, waterproofing is an option that you can choose in the GUI, which I'll show in a minute. And if you don't choose waterproofing, when you uh, drop into water and you have a lightsaber open, if you get if you get in two blocks or more of water, 
then your lightsaber will like fizz out and you can't turn it back on until you get out. But if you waterproof it, you can. Yeah. Uh, you need your focusing crystal. Which is also an ore. Which is also an ore. The kyber crystals are all ores that you find on um, Ilum. This is a focusing crystal ore. And then over there underneath the other ores, you can see the uh, all the different crystal types. And uh, yeah, the ones that fit in with Ilum stone here are the different colors of kyber crystals. So what do we have? We have... We have yellow, yellow white, purple... Pink, green, gray, cyan, blue, black, and prism. Prism is a choose your own color thing, which we'll show you when we actually get into the GUI. Um, right. Sorry, but back to the actual items. So where are we? We're at focusing crystal. Yeah. We did inert power insulator, cycling field energizer. What's next? The next one is an energy gate. 100% needed. Next. The next one is a diadium power <coughs> cell. Need that. An air seal gel, which is actually used to make an apex seal. Yeah. So, again, only for waterproof sabers. Uh, an energy modulation circuit. A power vortex ring. Needed. A magnetic stabilizing ring. Hell yeah. And pulp metal alloy, which will have a different texture before the release. And won't be dropped by Jawas. <laughs> and will not be dropped by Jawas. <laughs> It'll be made with titanium and chromium. Um, yeah, so these are all the things you need. And what, what crystal should we use? We'll just use a normal crystal color at first. Yeah, let's use green. Okay, so we have a green crystal. We have 64 of them. Actually, just pick one, if you would. Okay, so we have one green crystal. We have enough of everything else. So let's go to the... Go, go to survival, if you would. Yeah. And this is the lightsaber forge we're looking at. So you come up, you right-click... So basically this is the lightsaber forge where you can see all the sabers you can craft and everything. Um, they're all in their nice little buttons and you can click on them and change what it is and they all rotate. And um, If you see one that doesn't have an outline around it, that means that you can't use that one right now. So because those are all the double blades in the mod, you have to have two lightsaber crystals for those. Since we only have one lightsaber crystal in our inventory, um, the forge knows not to let you have access to the doubles. Now you need the same color crystal for all the doubles. You can't, you can't mix and match because we've, as far as we know, that's not really a thing. And uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's just we're not about that. But um, starting from the top, let's go through and give them a little uh, thing. We have four more coming. We won't tell you which ones yet, but we're gonna have four more down at the bottom. So we've got the Obi-Wan, we've got the Qui-Gon, we've got, these are all the single blades right now, um, we've got a Padawan, the Count Dooku, Luke from Episode 4, or Anakin from Episode 3, Vader, um, we've got Luke from Episode 6, Kylo Ren, Kanan from Rebels, Ezra from Rebels, uh, Revan, before he was a Sith, we don't know a whole lot about Revan, we've never actually played Knights of the Old Republic. As far as we know, he had two separate sabers, and this was the first one. We don't yeah. really know. Um, next is Darth Malgus, uh, and then Starkiller from Force Unleashed, Shoto, which I believe is Maris Broods, I think? I know that was a Sith saber. Yeah. Um, and then Plo Koon, and then the old Mace Windu, shout out to Samuel L, and then uh, Yoda. And then we'll have more on the way. Oh yeah, we haven't, we haven't placed Yoda in the GUI yet, because... Well, I'm lazy, and <laughs> Parsi yeah. doesn't want to do it. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that. It'll get done. Um, go ahead and grab another uh, lightsaber crystal, just so we can show that off, too. Grab another green one. I'm in survival. There we go. Hey, oh. Okay, now we can show, show them the uh, Darth Maul, and then the... We don't know whose this is. We know it's supposedly Old Republic or Extended Universe somewhere. We're not sure, but... Um, and then the Inquisitor on the bottom, so a little bit more Star Wars Rebels for you. And then because we had the green in our um, inventory right now, if we go to Blades, green is the only one we can use. If you have that stuff over it, that means that that's not available use right now. So grab two more crystals of a different color so you can show them. <coughs> okay, now we can use what? Blue, purple, and green. Hey yeah. Do a purple. Um, and then if you go to options, you can actually, yeah, toggle the blade real quick. This is a fun thing where you can actually make the blade be on and off so you can see just the lightsaber. So go back to hill, pick a good one for a purple. Oh, yeah, you know it. You know it, Mace Windu. What up? Okay, uh, 
They will have alt textures. This one doesn't have one right now. <laughs> it looks really bad. It was like a funny placeholder texture we were doing. Um, so yeah, but they all have, they all will have alternate textures. And then you've got your short, medium, or long blade links, which you can change and all show up in world and everything. Toggling waterproof, if you have your stuff, that's just an option that when you click it, it'll stay highlighted. So go ahead and click that. Bam. Now it's waterproof. It'll use the apex seals that you have in your inventory, and then um, it won't fizz out when you go into water. And yeah. then distortion is just like, what is, how did you do that? Uh... It's basically an effect that mimics what uh, Kylo Ren's lightsaber looks like. Kylo. 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 Kylo Ren's lightsaber <laughs> looks like. Sorry, that's an inside joke around here. Uh, but if you actually look at this one in world, you can kind of see it here, but it basically shimmers. Yeah, it like flickers kind of. Yeah. Just a fun little thing. We might add more effects and options as we go along. These are just the ones we want to get out for the basic ones. Um, yeah, so that's that. And then you click save. And then you got yourself a lightsaber. And you can turn it on and off. We added a new keybind so you can do it without having to shift right click. Which I believe defaults to O. Yeah, it should be. I think O for open. I think that was our logic there. Yeah. <coughs> um, oh yeah, and uh, turn. go to nighttime real quick. This is a cool thing. Now, turn it on. I'm gonna get away from those torches. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> the, the field emitters in the back. Yeah. <laughs> yep, they actually emit light now, which follows you. So you can use it as a torch, and like you never actually have to carry around light, and you can go into caves and just have a light. And it's actual real light, too. It's not simulated light. Yeah, it's like mobs can't spawn light. Yeah. So if you stand there, you're pretty much good to go. But. They can still wander towards you. Yeah, they just can't spawn. Oh god. Oh, you're on survival, aren't you? Yeah. That's why. I'm also on hard. Oh god. <laughs> um, oh yeah, let's show them the, um, the prism crystal. So what the prism crystal actually does is lets you have these sliders at the bottom. So if you just get normal crystals, you can't do it. But if you get that prism crystal, you got a ton more options. And the uh, the red, the orange, and the red orange crystals, which we consider to be Sith, uh, cannot be found with the rest of the ore. They're not an ore. They have to be. Um, show them the crystal compressor over there. You basically here. Yeah. Um, grab three crystal shards if you would. So basically, in the Sith quest line, there are, uh, there's quests to actually get these crystal shards, and then you put them into the crystal compressor. It eats them, and then you'll see really tiny little progress bar. I think it takes about five whole minutes for it to actually compress yeah. all the way. Um, we made it a little long just because, um, I don't know, we just kind of felt like it should. And it takes some of your Force XP as well, a good chunk of it. Did we say we were going to just take all of it, whatever level you are? Just zero you out yeah. because it takes that much. Um, and by the time it, it, uh, it actually makes the crystal, you'll pretty much be regen anyway. But this will actually give you a red crystal, and then once you have the red crystal, you're you're open to use either the red, the orange, or the red orange. We kind of made all those yeah. Sith. So. That was just kind of a decision on our part. I mean, you may disagree with that, but I mean, whatever. That's just how we did it. So now you can use red, orange, or red orange. Because we thought Kylo's in the new movie looked a little uh, looked a little orange, red, orange-ish. But apparently everyone thinks it's red, and they've said it's red. I don't know. Maybe the effects were just funky. Or maybe we saw it on a weird screen. Well, I'm colorblind, so <laughs> don't, don't put me in charge of lightsabers. That's also true. <laughs> um, yeah, so the crystal compressor is how you actually get Sith crystals. Um, grab a prism one, though. And yeah. Okay, so when you have a prism crystal, you get this cool slider GUI. And it actually unlocks all the colors. So you can be... If you're a Jedi... You can't get the Sith crystals because you have to be in the in the Sith quest line in order to uh, go on the quests to get them because they're like found in certain places on different planets and stuff. So when you're a Jedi, you cannot get them. You you have to build a Jedi lightsaber before you can even start the Sith quest line. So um, if you want to have a Sith lightsaber, you have to go through the entire Jedi quest line, build your lightsaber, um, do all that stuff, and then go talk to the Sith person do some other things and then you'll get to become or then you'll actually get to know the locations of the sith crystals and everything um so yeah you can change your 
lightsaber color. And in creative, you get this whole menu. When you're in creative, it doesn't require any items or anything. You don't have to have anything. You can just jump right into this. Whereas there's actually a key bind that we're gonna leave in um, that works on uh, survival or creative. Does not work on survival. It works on creative and you can just go straight to this GUI without even having to use the lightsaber forge. And you can just constantly edit and change stuff. Um, yeah, you can just click around, find one that you like. Oh, and the Ezra does shoot here. Let's show that off. Yeah, give us a cool color. The Ezra actually does shoot. You have to have it off. Oh, yeah. If you have the uh, Ezra yeah, off, you can use the same uh, fire button as the ships and everything, and it fires his uh, blue bolt. I think we made it like spear bike damage, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's more powerful than a standard blaster bolt. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it is. Um, oh yeah, and then show off the um, the Shoto and the Dooku and like Ooh, a double yeah. blade and everything. Uh, let's get the Dooku. No, oh, get it red, dude. Gotta get it red. I'll... Yeah. I'll just just do creative some. now. There's no reason to stay in survival. Yeah. It'll be easier. Do -do -do. There he is. And the Shoto. Shoto. And then... That's all the good ones. Oh, we have the Inquiz. Um, yeah, and you can see like we placed them all in what we feel is the right place and everything. And they block right. Oh yeah, and this fun little thing. We, we didn't know if we were going to do this or not, but then um, we started adding all the new lightsabers and everything, and then Parsi was like, hey, what if I actually just had it on the belt? I said, yeah. dude, that would be insane. So he did it and it looks awesome. And it just picks, if you have multiple lightsabers in your inventory, it just picks whichever one is first in the inventory. Well, furthest left in your hotbar. Yeah, furthest left. That's not selected. Yeah. Which we thought was a cool little cool little thing. Yeah. But here's the Dooku. And then we've got the Darth Maul. We've got the... That other, we call it, we call it like ancient Sith. We don't actually know which one it is. Sorry. We try to keep up on everything, but sometimes it's just too much. And then we've got the old Shoto, which we believe was Maris Broods. Some people might call this a guard Shoto because I think technically Yoda's was a Shoto. I don't know the exact words. I think some people also called it Tonf, Tonfi or something. Yeah. There's another word for it. But yeah, we call it a Shoto. Um, and then the Inquisitor. We might add the, the uh, thing, I also need to position it so it's not in your arm. Um, we might add the thing where it like spins around somehow. We haven't really thought about that a lot. I don't yeah. know. It's a possibility. We don't know yet. We kind of just do things as we go. Oh, show off saber throw. Ooh, yeah. Uh, let's do it with an Ezra, because Ezra's my favorite. So now in 1.3, you don't have to have Jedi robes in order to use force powers. A lot of people said that they would rather have it that way, so we... I don't know, we don't... We try to listen to it as much as we can, and we feel like that was something that people definitely said a lot. Um, so we added saber throw. So now, in order to use force powers, you just have to have that holocron in I your will, I will point out that the command I just used only works in creative, so... Oh yeah, the cron stuff? Yeah, yeah. only works in creative. Um, you now have to have a holocron to use force powers. You'll get a holocron when you go to Dagobah for the uh, for the first of the Jedi quests, and you'll start to use your Jedi powers and everything. Oh yeah, and we have a new Tauntaun model. Yeah. And his tail moves. Look at that. Getting close. Getting close. I'm gonna freeze him. Oh yeah, use uh, use slow. That's a Sith power. Oh, is it really? It Ayo. Uh, yeah. there's... Oh, it's disable. Oh, disable. Yeah, you can just use that. Oh, didn't get him. <laughs> oh, no, he's just jumping. Yeah, you did, but you got him jumping. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> you know what? He's on the slope, wizard. Alright, yeah, get him off the slopes. I don't think he understands what small height blocks are. Oh yeah, I don't think he does. Your AI sucks. <laughs> I should have spent more yeah, time well, on your AI. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Yeah. Tauntaun Tails move, it doesn't really matter. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Alright, yeah, yeah, get us back. Yeah. 
They move. Hey! Look at that little cutie. And I think their arms move a little bit, and then obviously they have the cool, uh, the cool little leg movement when they walk. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, so, with the Holocron, that's how you use Force Powers now. So, you, it, we're gonna make it so that it'll stay in your inventory even if you die. Um, so just try not to lose it, because if you lose it, you can't get it back. And then you'll have to get a new Holocron. Um, we need to think about a contingency plan for lost Holocrons. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so you don't have to have Jedi robes anymore. They're basically just gonna... Uh, I don't know if they'll have... We don't know if they'll have special effects yet, or they'll just be... Um, like, a, kind of a crappy armor, or what we're gonna do with that. But there will definitely be Jedi and Sith, different types of robes um, that you can wear. And you'll get a pair of Jedi robes from the Jedi Master, and you'll get a pair of Sith robes from the Sith Master, if that's what you're into. Um, yeah, the Kyber Crystal Ore is found on Ilum. Oh, go to Ilum. Oh, okay. Real quick, if you would, just to show that off. That will be rough. And say with those the jam. Didn't that, we saw a video one time where a guy said, what did he call it? Tattooey? Uh, I think it was yeah, Tattooey. There was this one really popular video that he continued to call Tattooey, but there was the, there were a couple other videos that they called him just the most crazy things you can imagine. Yeah, I think somebody called it Tatwine. Somebody. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about the, the suns and the moons on Yeah, on not, not canon right it's, now. It's not, it's not right yet. Work in progress. Very much work in progress. Okay, so, do you have world edit on here? Should. Yes. yes. Oh, let's do a selection of an area and then do the replace thing. Okay. So we're, we're gonna basically... have to cut this part out. Why? No, just the whole command process. You can keep talking. Oh, okay. Um, no, we can leave it in. Why not? It's not the most exciting. Who cares? Might have to cut that out, but um, I mean, it doesn't matter. Oh wow, you were up really high. Mm. Try to get low. Yeah. <laughs> you were not. We're gonna move. <laughs> You were not on the ground. That's good. Um, basically, but what we're what we're gonna do is uh, cut a huge chunk out of the world, and then um, we're going to basically make all the blocks except crystals Ooh, go away. Area. So there will be no more crystals. Or there will be no more stone or anything else. Diadium also spawns on Ilum, correct? Yes. Which is needed for diadium power cells. And. Uh... That's it. Yeah, just diadium. Yeah. And all of our ores have an either, uh, well, excluding the crystals, all ores have either an iron or a gold rarity. So you should be able to find stuff not too hard. Yeah, crystals are uh, there are their own variations of uh, diamond or more. Yeah, and certain crystal colors are more rare. For instance, blue and green are the least rare. I believe they're just normal diamond rarity. And then from there, I think we did another tier of like yellow and something else for the next rarity tier. And then obviously Prism, which is the one that lets you use um, all colors without being uh, Sith, um, is... That one's pretty rare. Well, what happened? God. Hello. Uh, there we go. Hello. Oh yeah. Also, focusing oh, crystals. Oh wow. We need to decrease the rarity of focusing crystals. I mean, they're required, so I guess it really doesn't matter. Yeah, but that's way too many. That's really annoying. No, we need to get. We need to down that. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that. Also, lava. Yeah, we we need to get rid of that. Um, but as you can see, all the crystals are here. All the different kinds. There's a green. There's a blue. There's diadium in here as well. Are there any prisms in this section? Uh, let's find out. You can see how rare they actually are. 253.9. There's two? Oh, was that was that one? No. Um, Hold on. Yeah, you can, you can see how rare um, the prisms are. And we wanted to do that just because, um, just because we can. I don't know. Just because we can. Yeah, get rid of that idea. Now, these are all just the crystals in yeah, this chunk. just crystals. These are just the crystals. So you can see it's, it's difficult, but it's not impossible. Yeah. Um, and there's going to be a whole, uh, temple. We've I've started building it a while back. Um, I think we shared a screenshot of it. 
on Minecraft forum. Yeah. Well, here, like two months ago. This isn't one of the ones that accounted as two, but here's one on the wall. Hey, there's a little prism. We made it a rainbow just because. Um, yeah. So you have to get the crystal ore. You go to the Ilum Jedi Temple, and then you actually go into the crystal caves from there. We didn't want to do physical crystals because um, there was only one time in all of Star Wars that it actually, well, in TV or like visual media besides like comic books and stuff, that it showed somebody getting a lightsaber crystal and it was in that one episode of uh, the Clone Wars TV show and the younglings had to get them and the crystals were super small. So we feel like we shouldn't do like a crystal model and stick it anywhere because we thought about that. Because um, I don't know, they're just they're supposed to be really small, and so we just felt like it would be a little weird if you just had like really tiny little crystals in really hard to find places because it's already dark. Um, but yeah, that's how you get the crystals. And you know, there's still. Everything in the mod right now is still very much work in progress. I mean, we still have structures to build. We're still putting quests in. We're still getting everything working. We just yesterday got all the entire lightsaber system working where it would actually sense what you had in your inventory. Um, yeah, we still have a lot to do. Still have a lot to do. Still have not a lot of fun <laughs> putting it all in. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here they are. Wow, they were that close to each other? Yeah. Damn, somebody could have gotten lucky. And we'll be adding more lightsabers with every release, we think. Don't don't hold us too hard to that, but we believe that we'll be adding more. Um, but there will definitely be four more that aren't shown here when we actually release 1.3. And if you're good, maybe you can guess. Probably not though, because it's kind of obscure yeah. which ones. We haven't spoiled them at all, have we? What do you mean? The new ones, the new four. Oh, the new four? No, we yeah. haven't talked about them at all. All right, what else do we need to show? Um, Those are the lightsabers. What else is new? Oh god, don't worry about all the pink stuff. That's just untextured things. Right. Oh, have we showed off back to tanks yet? No. <laughs> show off a back to uh -oh. tank. <laughs> it hasn't been positioned yet. It won't be in the middle of your screen. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Although, if you are carrying a back to tank, that's probably the best place to carry. <laughs> no, you probably have to. Yeah, you'd have to like bear hug it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> Here's a back to tank. So. That's a Minecraft command. You just jump in. And then there you are. Go into third person. Now you're in the back to tank. And if you're in survival, it actually uh, clears you. Here, hit it again. Yeah. It actually clears you of all your, uh, ailments. your ailments and effects and everything. Refills your health. Refills your hunger. Is that the right way to say that? Refills your hunger? Or it yeah. decreases your hunger? I think refills You is get fun. less hungry? <laughs> yeah. I guess I should say. Your food bar and health bar are maxed. Yeah. Um, and these will be on Echo Base on Hoth. Oh. Yeah. We haven't said that yet. There's Echo Base on Hoth. I've barely started building it, but it, it will be there as far as we can tell. Um, we have real actual plants. Yeah. We have a lot of structures left. And a lot of structures done. We're we're what quadrupling the amount of structures we have. Yeah. Uh, probably I'll say tripling. We only have like three or four structures. What do we have right now? In one point two. Mos Eisley. Uh. The little shield generator base things. Yeah. We don't have any other major structures besides Mos Eisley, do we? We just mm -hmm. have like other smaller stuff. Tuscan Raiders will also be... Uh, dude, you want to take them on a tour of the Tuscan Village? Make this even a little more spoily? Sure. Okay. Um, we'll show you guys the Tuscan, the Tuscan Raider Village. Why not? There's not really a lot of canon reference for these, and uh, we kind of just wanted to make it a place where you could Wait, go. Wait, it's on the server, though, isn't it? Shout out to MultiFC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like you can manage your resource packs and uh, your worlds and your screenshots. And Ooh. All your old Did dogs. I see some shader screens in there, dog? Did uh, I see some yeah. old shader screens? With oh, God. Old bad models. <laughs> oh, dude, let me see that screenshot of the uh, the Jawas. This one? Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> this is when we first put in Jawas. <laughs> oh, my on God. On Tatooine. There was a small issue with the. Uh, Mob spawning. Back good. before we took out cactus, changed Tatooine sand, <laughs> and took out yeah. dead bushes. This was before we released 1.0. Yeah, that was old school. Real old. 
Yeah, actual old. <laughs> Actually really old. All right, dude. Let's yeah. launch it. Um, yeah, this is our build server, basically. Here's what's going to become uh, Hoth Echo Base. Oh, yeah. We found a really nice guy on Planet Minecraft that's going to give us a GZ45. GR, GR75? GZ75. I never remember. GR. The big, the transports that the Rebels use. The heavy transport. Yeah. Uh, actually, they're medium transports. Oh, sorry. My bad. Sorry. <laughs> Should have checked the cannon on that one. Um, just use Journey Map and go there. Because you don't know where it is, do you? Uh, I do know where uh, it is. <laughs> if you haven't loaded that direction, it's definitely not there. No, I've loaded it. It just unloads because this structure is so gigantic. <laughs> Uh, maybe I am going to completely wrong Yeah, direction. you're completely going oh, the wrong way. I'm still moving. That's... Wow, you have like zero waypoints. No, I just have them all turned off. Oh, okay. Yeah, go in the air. There we go. Good enough. And takes your ship away. Yeah, this is the Tuscan village. So basically what we've got is just a bunch of little huts. I mean, technically they, they were in tents. Uh, I tried to make it somewhat huddy. Not job of the hoodie, <laughs> just normal hoodie. Hoodie, hoodie. And then there's like little bantha pins for the banthy banths, which we're doing a new model for, right? Yeah, there's instead a of these, stray one. Instead of these dirt banthas. And then there's like a chieftain house kind of thing. Um, and then. Yeah. Which, there's a surprise. No, 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 no. Not, not to say where. There's a surprise. Uh. And then, yeah, these are just all the huts. They're basically the same. I changed the interiors around a little bit. I tried to spruce them all up. Um, we'll have the Tuscans here instead of Mose Isley. Because in Mose Isley, they just were wrecking all the merchants. Yeah. To the point where... Those uh, just aren't going to be there. Yeah, those are for spawning. Don't worry about that. Yeah. In a moisture vat. Because they need water, too. Yeah. And they could have stolen them, theoretically. They could have. Um, yeah, we tried to make it Tuscany. Are there any other cool structures that we could show off? Mm. <laughs> yeah, here, here's our whole mobs world. The Wookiee Village? Um, yeah, we can show up the Wookiee Village, right? Yeah, they haven't really seen it because it's not really working. Yeah, don't worry about the lapis on the ground. That's just for for gigs. Or the vines. Um, yeah, this is the Wookiee Village. This is what this will look like on Kashyyyk. All the houses are interconnected, so if you're at one house, you can get to any of the other houses. Not directly, but, you know, they're all connected in a, in a way. I had to make it so that you could get to any other house, which was a real pain in the bootay, but we figured it out. There's all these nice little huts. There will be Wookiees everywhere. Go to daytime. Super dark. One thousand. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I was trying to think what noon was. <laughs> I don't know how they... Did their time scale? They just well, I guess I do know how, but it's just stupid. I think it's whatever time you want it to be times two thousand. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Um. Yeah. This is the Wookie Village. Uh. I don't know. Get a nice aerial view. Get that that flying shot. That's what the Wookie Village be. All these funky little huts and everything. There'll be wooks everywhere. But that's pretty much it. We just wanted to show you guys uh, how to do lightsabers. Give you guys a couple little extra spoilers on the way. Um, yeah, that's it. Show you guys show you guys what's going on. Kind of like a little developer, developer log. Um, yeah. Yeah, this was, this was Weaston signing off. And this is Parzi. <laughs> si signing off. That's so dumb. That's how people do it. We're peacing out. How do YouTubers say goodbye? I don't know, but hey guys. Yeah, but that's it, guys. We just wanted to show you, um, show you the lightsabers, give you a little spoilers, let you know what's up, explain yeah. some things, because we're also going to publish our um, our little lightsaber spoiler video, which is not this one. It's like an actual teaser trailer type of thing. So look out for that one too, and we'll be putting these out at relatively the same time. So yeah, yeah. Thanks for playing our mod. Yeah, we appreciate it.